Hey everyone, welcome back to Judo Highlights. Uh, today we're going to look at Maruyama and his uh, 2019 uh, year on the IGF circuit. Uh, starting with his match against Ham Yongjin. Uh, he actually gets uh, Awazari down earlier on. And then he looks for a way to come back. This is his second match of the day. He's a little there. Uh, the first match he won by Ashido, so I, I didn't feel I should include it. Nice Tomoe Nage attempt. So he's always stabbing that left leg again, looking for the Uchimata. And there it is. So he gets a Wazari and the Ippon to win it. Third match against uh, Lombardo Manuel from Italy. Nice attempt from Lombardo there. No score though. Another attempt, but not going to trick Maruyama with that one. And I think Lombardo is really difficult to throw. He's quite tall. But Mariyama gets the Wazari here. And then that's it for that match. So next he's up against uh, Vieru Denis. And this match ends quite quickly. Goes for the Shime Waza. And this is quite beautiful. Look at that. And then we've got the final against the Korean, Kim Lim Hwan. And just pay attention to this story here, you'll see it later on uh, during the World Championship Tokyo Final, where he also faces Kim Lim Hwan. But for this match here, he uh, scores a Wazari. And that is that for the match. I included this here because uh, you don't see many people try and uh, do a skashi on Maruyama's Uchimata, but it looks like he defended it well. And after the bell, the nice little tired Toshi. Yeah, so I'm just doing this video uh, as a test to see if I get demonetized or not. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys are more interested in the judo than my comments on how Moriyama did throughout the year. And I just want to make videos like I used to, so I don't know if including this commentary somehow voids the demonetization claims, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's a textbook perfect Uchimata there. Next round against the Slovenian, Gombok Adrian. And he's trying to power his way through Maruyama. You know, trying to show his strength, trying to get some shidos. But I think he ends up uh, gassing out a bit at the end, kind of lose a lot of his oomph later on. And then Maruyama's technique starts to shine. And Maruyama was on fire this day. So in 2019 he fought uh, 16 times, winning 15 of them, losing only to Abe Hifumi at the end of the year. And uh, the majority of his wins came from uh, Uchimata, lots of Ippons, uh, Seoinage in there and uh, Tomoinage, a couple of ground techniques which we've already seen. He's a Tomoinage, tries to follow it up but uh, over the chin. That's a Wazari to end that match. Next against the Egyptian. So Maruyama actually quite often goes for a lot of Tomoinage attempts and he mixes it in well with his Uchimata. So if they're uh, posturing up, 
he's going in for the Uchimata. And if they're posturing downwards, he's going in for the Tomoe Nage. But uh, I think he mixes it up well with fakes and makes people think that they're go he's going to do something else. Now this was the semi-final, correct me if I'm wrong, but a very tense match between the two rivals. Looks like Maruyama hurt his finger earlier on. And this Seoinaga from Abe is quite impressive, and even more so impressive is how Maruyama avoided that. And Abe's trying to bully him a little bit here, you know, push him out, maybe try and force the Shido. It's not easy for these two to throw each other, they've, you know, fought so many times before. And uh, just pay attention to this little movement that Maruyama just did. Uh, it'll show up more so at the end of the match. So I don't think Abe's going for anything in particular, he's just, he wants to look not passive. And here it is. You know, Tokyo World Championships, that, that's a statement right there. And Abe didn't have a great day, you know, he got concussed earlier on, huge swollen eye. Anyway, this is the final uh, against Kim again from Dusseldorf, so they uh, met in the finals twice in one year. And earlier on in Dusseldorf, um, Maruyama went for a big you know, top grip, um, what do you call it, Koshiguruma? No, that doesn't sound right, someone correct me. And... I mean, this Uchimada looks alright, but I think Kim's kind of getting a feel for it. And I think Maruyama felt that he had more success earlier on in Dusseldorf with his uh, technique here. So he ended the finals with that one. Now with the red batch, uh, back patch. Uh, Another Uchimata to finish the round quite early on. Now Maruyama went in with an injury. Uh, he had hurt his knee at the World Championships. But I think he really wanted to make a statement here. Doesn't look like it's affecting him that much. Azalabaijin competitor gave him a bit of trouble in this fight, but he gets a score here, the Wazadi. So when you look at uh, the stats for Maruyama, it's uh, you know lots of Uchimata, but also Tomoenage is his second most used technique. I think Abe came prepared for this one. He knew that he could not lose this one, or we would already know who has been selected for the Tokyo Olympics, if that's ever going to happen. It really is great seeing these two you know, battle it out. Sorry, did I show that clip twice? Whoops. Sorry about that. So Abe's going for his big hip technique, but Maruyama defends well. Does well not to grab onto the legs. So I think Abe's just trying to be first. And Maruyama, he's looking for a lot of Neiwaza in this fight. Not sure exactly what he's going for there, but he tries for another um, attempt here. Tries to get a choke. Would have been quite spectacular if he got it. A 
is that little movement he does which won him the world championships And here comes the end of the match where Mariyama gets countered. Whether that, you know, his knee had anything to do with it, I'm not sure. But disappointing for Mariyama. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for the support. You can head on over to Patreon if you uh, want to support the channel. Uh, there's going to be some stuff coming up when the circuit, you know, starts up again. And I'll have some Patreon-only videos uh, for you all there. Okay, so thanks a lot, and see you later.